this is Frank from GoPro, and this is another episode of Talking Sauce. Today, I'm joined by one half of Bear Country, Big Beef. Boulder? I don't know. We're Boulder. Boulder? We're Boulder. Boulder? I like yeah. the beef. Fuck. It's still my nickname to this day. I still so like cool. beef. It's know. all good. All right, so you whatever. can still call me that. Everyone does. My partner does. Everyone in wrestling does. It's You're just a good, good name. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I still like it. Word. So, All right. So, you want to start this off? You're going back. We're starting from the I, I know. I'm just, <laughs> dude, you told me to smell this one. Yeah, just, it's, all right. it's a good smell, though. <laughs> all right. So, the first one we got today is Los Calientes. The uh, heat level is 5 out of 10. I believe that means the hots. The hots. It is. <laughs> it's definitely hot. You want to dip your uh, shot in this? All right. Let's get a little dip in, man. It's fucking nuggets. Try this out. Get in here, bitch. That's very tasty. Mm. That is delicious sauce. Very good. So let's start this off. So you guys have become some of the most sought after and well-known tag team members across the country. Oh, stop. I, I'm i <laughs> not joking. I see your name everywhere. I voted for you for team of the year, tag team of the year on the either WTV. You guys should vote too. Well, unfortunately, we weren't one of the finalists, so. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I fucking voted for you guys. What are you talking about? I don't know. That's I, I saw they, they. I voted. I literally <laughs> voted, and I said fucking Bear Country. I voted for Bear Country too. So what the so fuck happened? I don't know. Um, this shit's rigged. I was looking. I was looking. Uh, IWTV put out that video for the finalists for each category the other day, and I'm watching. I'm like, eh, 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 and then all the tag teams, and I'm like, I'm sitting here fucking shocked right now. Because I was like so sure that you guys were gonna. Fuck That's me. fine. Yeah, That's fine. whatever. So, <laughs> how have you guys felt about like your skyrocket to the level that you're so well known? Well, um, before the world shut down, we were um, we were very busy, multiple shows a weekend, two, three shows a weekend, driving all over the country. When everything shut down, it was kind of like, uh, it just felt weird. And slow, stuff slowly started picking up again, and now we're getting back into the groove of things. New look, new gear. New attitude, new opponents, and I like the direction everything is heading right now. It's really fun. Really Absolutely. good time. And you even had some opportunities by the time this has uh, come out. If you're talking about uh, Tuesday, December 15th, yeah. AEW Dark, be sure to check that out. Bear Country versus The Dark Order. How do you guys feel that now, like, bigger promotions I've heard about you, like, do you feel like at some point there's going to be a bidding war for you guys? Um, put it this way, I... I I, I knew, I kind of always knew what we needed to do to get to that level. Yeah. The 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 thing was, I really couldn't picture ourselves doing it exactly. You know, there's a certain way to go about things. Right. And it's like, all right, well, how does this guy get here? How does this guy get noticed? It's kind of like, how do you get there? And, I don't know, we're kind of there now. You guys have done so a pretty it's good just, job. It's continuing just to do our thing. Absolutely. Let's just literally say to ourselves, just keep doing what we're doing. Because we're here now, we've if got you, this platform now. you keep now, going down that same path, I feel like... At some point, that finish line is right there. Just got to deliver. Got to finish. Thank you, man. That number two. Into our next question, actually. Yeah. Very number nice. two. First time for me. It's the bull hot sauce. Do we even have a index in this bitch? No, no. It's just hot. <laughs> I told you. Very, <laughs> very funky color. Yeah. Very... Let's find out how funky it actually is. Mm. It's like buffalo sauce. Yeah. Some good ass buffalo sauce. Probably could have guessed that. It says it's unique, but it comes from fucking Spain. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. So, I've always, I've never actually asked you this question, but, I mean, with your size, you've definitely played football in your life. I played college football, yes. Division three, right around the corner at Kane University. Oh, that sucks. Eh, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't. Kane Cougar, man. We were good. Uh, we were good. My yeah, last two yeah. years there, we were top 25 in the country. Yeah. So. And then you guys uh, went down to Texas, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I actually never knew you went to Kane. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, had, I had a couple friends there. Well, I grew up in Westfield, literally like 15 minutes from here. Wow. Yeah, so and this then, is like a local fucking thing for you. Um, I originally, well, I my original goal was to start training for wrestling right after high school. Yeah. I, I initially didn't want to go to college, but my parents wanted me to go, and I still really wanted to play football. Yeah. And living in state, Kane University is like under 10 grand a year to <laughs> go to, so my parents were happy about my choice for that. So. And I mean, you guys have... <laughs> Like a top facility, all that good stuff. Yeah, man. very yes. good. They gave you guys money because they like you. Whatever. <laughs> what What has like football? <clears throat> that was the nugget and not the sauce. Don't I? I want to make that very all clear. Right, all right, all right. 
What has like football training done to help you prepare? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ask it again. What has football training done to help you prepare for life after football with wrestling? Well, um, it's definitely not the uh, the safety and well-being of my knees and hips because those bother me every day. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's getting into wrestling was a lot different mindset than playing football. It was a lot of you know play. Even even like I did amateur wrestling too. Yeah. And amateur wrestling is just it's a whole different mindset than professional wrestling. But I don't know. That's a, that's actually a very good question. You kind of got me stumped a little. Well, bit. I mean, you guys, so. you guys do front squats and back squats and all that shit but like don't that, do deadlifts nothing. i'm very much against deadlifts <laughs> yeah. i tweeted that out yesterday and i got a little uh, flack for it but yeah, um, i mean listen that, deadlifts are all right i, well, I we like just, we just never did them in college we just always did squats and power yeah. cleans that was it i mean because you guys are a good football program my my school william patterson uh, decided that deadlifts and uh fucking all this dumb turkish get up shit was the way <laughs> to a winning program and guess what in uh, four years of college football at William Patterson, I won eight games. All right? So, don't do fucking deadlifts. Mm, sounds about right. I like playing <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Everyone says the same fucking <laughs> shit. It's great. Anyways. Uh, all right. Number three. All right. Small Axe Peppers Habanero Mango Hot Sauce. Yes, please. And, uh, oh, four out of five. Wow. We're going to straight into that shit. Love it. Give me. This is actually my favorite sauce. Love the sweetness. Mm-hmm. It's like the right amount of heat. This guy's just straight up drinking. I just it. drank mine. Just take like a shot of fucking hot sauce. That's very tasty. It's a little hot, but whatever. <laughs> Manageable. For, I mean, I guess if you're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, besides tag team wrestling, I've seen you do singles wrestling, but you haven't like really done that much lately. Not lately, no. Do you feel like at some point you want to like start really building up your singles career as well? Um, well, if wrestling history has taught us anything, it's that tag teams always break up. Mm. So in the back of my mind, I always kind of have thought that like, well, I don't know, Bear Country stops doing its thing together one day. I had to do my own thing, and. Um, <laughs> I'm definitely I'm definitely more used to working a tag style now. Yeah. <laughs> go really go really fast pace tag and then <sighs> catch my breath. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that without a partner. But I it's <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm 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 ready for it though. That's awesome. I really do. Like whenever if ever that day comes, I let's think I can it, handle myself. Let's hope that day doesn't come because I I feel like they break up tag teams too much. It's 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 too much of a generic thing. At some point, like tag teams just need to stay together and just be like back for each other. I agree. Right. I feel like that's a lot better story than just like same old fucking shit like Halo, hey, we're breaking up and fucking, then they're like, alright, I don't know what to do singles, like, let's get back together. Plus I just love the chemistry that me and Bronson have together. Absolutely, you guys so have fantastic chemistry. And it's it. like always cool to see, you guys' entrance is fucking sick, those masks are fucking creepy as fuck. Like, oh, we actually added that. a new piece to the entrance that you'll oh, see on boy. Tuesday. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Alright, great. <laughs> Number four? Number four. I know how much you love Carolina Reapers, so we're uh, at Carolina Reaper now, and uh, yeah. 2.1 million Scoville. I, I really <sighs> hope you don't drink this one. No, this one I won't. Yeah, good. <laughs> so those two words, Carolina and Reaper, bring back bad memories. Taco Fest legend. Yes, 2016. That's not, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, like it, it's like a good sauce. Still won't drink it, though. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> so, there we go. personal life. Okay. This fucking guy. God, boy, you're fucking leaving. <laughs> Blooper reel. Fuck you. Um, personal life. Are you a Christmas guy? I love Christmas. Do you like Christmas movies? I do like Christmas movies. Name your top five Christmas movies. Right? Rudolph. Rudolph. That's, R that's Rudolph been, is one hundred percent. It's like, been the thing. Yeah, I had that on VHS when I was a kid, and I watched it even when it wasn't Christmas. I love that movie. Number four. <sighs> um, I don't know. Probably a Christmas story. Probably I can recite that whole movie. But wow. It's, yeah. Um, uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Oh. Only because I love James Stewart so much. That one. I watched that for the first time this year. I don't know what the really? fuck I've been doing, but that movie. I cried. I don't ever cry for movies, but that <laughs> is like wow. It, I don't. It, you don't even see it coming. No, you don't. I literally was like, 
this is the greatest ending of all time. Like, fantastic. Continue, sorry. <laughs> Jingle All the Way is probably number one. Oh, yeah, baby. Number one. You don't like Elf? Shocked you're not a Will Ferrell guy. I am a Will Ferrell guy, but I don't think Elf makes the top five. Damn. It maybe makes like six or seven. All right. What about, uh, have you ever watched The Night Before? Yes. Because you also look like a Seth Rogen guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen that. That was good. Oh, man, I love that. Movie. Trying to think if I need one more to fill the fifth spot. Uh, I don't know. What was, that, what was that movie with Ben Affleck and James Gandolfini? Ben Affleck and James Gandolfini? What? Yes. Uh, for a Christmas movie? Ben Affleck plays like this rich guy who like didn't have like a child. Like, the only, he's like this rich corporate executive guy. The only good memories he has in his life are like of Christmas when he was a kid. So he goes back to his old house that he grew up in and offers the family like a million dollars to like live in the house and celebrate Christmas. It's really weird. Yeah, Surviving, Surviving Christmas. Christmas. That's wow, what it is. I've never seen a Ben Affleck Christmas movie. It's not, a five, it's not a five-star movie by any means, but it's... <laughs> it's a good concept. It's a delightful Christmas romp. It sounds like a Christmas version of Dickie Roberts. You ever watched Dickie Roberts? Are Child star? Of? Yes. <laughs> Great movie, too. I just watched that again. All right. <laughs> Number five. Oh, boy. We're at the last dab, triple X. Um, there's no Scoville ranking, but it's about like three million. It's, it, yeah. it's up there. It's up there. How's that? Oh boy. Get real chunky. I don't wanna. Oh god. Let it set in. It's just like a huge blob of mustard in my mouth. Yeah. You feel that. Right away. Oh, that was a that was a big chunk. So, you're not a wuss. You're not a wuss. You're not a wuss. Come on. <laughs> All right. You're not a wuss? No. It's not that bad. It's not no. that bad. <laughs> I'm good. So, I also wanted to ask. I like I like knowing about people's, like, personal tastes and stuff. So, that was the movie question. But, like, music-wise, what's what's on your playlist when you're working out and you're, like, really focusing? I have a very, very eclectic taste in Love music. That. Yeah. If you want, pull up my phone right Hit now. Me. And I can read you some of the songs off... My gym playlist. As my mouth burns, and <laughs> mine I don't a little know bit too. How your tongue feels, but I'll tell you. Bitch. Let's see. Gym one. Let's see, Easy Lover, Saint Elmo's Fire, No Easy Way Out, Real American, the Demolition theme song, <laughs> Thunder in Your Heart, The Touch, Iron Man, Shadows of the Night, uh, I Was Made for Loving You, Hearts on Fire, <laughs> Heaven Is a Place on Earth, Take Me Home Tonight, Miami 2017, Hip to Be Square, Balls to the Wall, Burning for You. You get them. You get the. I can picture you squatting to some of these songs. I'm like, yeah, baby, that's good. But uh, actually, lately, besides that, that I just listed, I've actually been a lot into um, a lot of hip hop lately. A lot right. of um, new, a lot of really good new hip hop albums coming out this year, like the new Juice World, the new um, right. Twenty One Savage. Lil Uzi, a lot of good Funny, shit like he's, that. He's more cultured than I am. I'm fucking Spanish. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't got any of that shit. That got, shit's great, man. You're missing out. I got like Broadway shit on my side. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Fuck you. All right. Uh, my tongue's not working currently. Um, it hurts a lot. But like, really thank you for joining me. I've never gotten to interview you before, so it's pretty cool for fucking This was a time. great time. I'm serious. This was a great time. I'm not just saying that. I love these guys. <laughs> yeah, you're the man. Thanks for joining me, man. Thanks, bro. Catch you on the next one.